This video shows how surface area impacts the rate at which a process occurs. What I have here is a half gallon container uh, we filled with a little bit of liquid nitrogen. I have a little notch cut, cut into this milk jug and I'm going to add some iron spheres. And what I have is about 33 grams of iron present in the form of four iron spheres with half inch diameters. We can do the math and we can find out that the surface area of these iron spheres is about that much. Okay? And if I place this over the container of liquid nitrogen, these iron spheres are held back with a magnet, you can see that what's happening here is the liquid nitrogen that's boiling inside of this container is producing cool nitrogen vapor. The nitrogen vapor is coming out and causing the uh, water vapor in the air this very humid air to condense to produce water droplets, making this little gloomy cloud here. If I release the magnet, I drop the iron spheres in. You can see that as the iron spheres dump their heat into the liquid nitrogen, they cause the liquid nitrogen to boil a little bit more vigorously, making it a bit more vigorous or larger uh, plume. Okay, but we can change the surface area of the iron, and so instead of adding iron spheres, what we can do is we can add iron powder, which has much greater surface area per mass. And so I have iron powder in this container, in this tube, and I'm going to hold it back with a magnet. And this is about 33 grams. And we've estimated the surface area of these iron pieces to be about that much. Okay, much greater surface area. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to this container. Again, the iron's held back by a magnet at this point. Put this on here and you can see that it's sort of gently venting out of this little hole here. But if I pull the magnet, you can see that uh, the boiling has become much more vigorous as that iron powder transfers its heat into the liquid nitrogen, causing it to boil. And again, that plume is much more vigorous. Because, uh, the boiling is much more vigorous because we have a much greater surface area in this iron sample compared to the previous sample. So again, surface area impacts the rate at which processes can occur.